Tonight we're going on a walking tour of the San Blas neighborhood. It's the bohemian area with lots of vendors and artists and it's a lot of fun. Then we're going to finish off with a little bit of Pisco Sour. We're not just drinking it, we're going to learn how to make it. So today we have the visit to the neighborhood of San Blas, artist neighborhood. People have unique pieces. What's really cool about this neighborhood is that the artists actually live here and they sell their own products, meaning that it's very unique. You can't find it anywhere else, only here. Comida! Oh. <laughs> One of the distinctive features of the San Blas neighborhood are these really narrow alleyways, and they're just really fun to walk down. And there's all these little houses and the steps up. Wow, this was definitely worth the hike all the way to the top. I mean, that view is incredible. All the houses and all the lights are just kind of twinkling. It's definitely a magical city, huh? The walking part of the tour is over. Now it is time to treat ourselves to some Pisco. Pisco is a destination of grapes, so we're going to try that one. They're going to tell us the history and then you're going to do your own Pisco behind the bar. I'm definitely not a bartender. This is the first time, but I'm excited to give it a shot. We use four shots of this to start out with. Here we go. This right here is the sugar, lime juice. Maybe more. More of that? Okay, all right, okay. My guide wants to get me hammered. Here we go. <laughs> more strong. More strong. Yeah. I don't have much finesse. These guys look much cooler than me. There we go. So I've made my very first Pisco Sour in the home of Pisco Sours, Peru. Ah, looks pretty good. Thanks, buddy. This has been an unforgettable evening. Our guide took us all around the old streets of Cusco. It was so much fun. We learned a whole bunch and we're finishing it off with a beautiful Pisco drink. Cheers. Salud, cheers. Salud.